Hi, this is Patrick Brunel from Brilliant Directories. In today's video, we're going to learn how to add a custom field to a form, as well as how to call that custom field. You may want to add a custom field to a feature post, such as coupon or classifieds, or you may want to add, customize the contact details form or the listing details form for your members and have that custom field appear on their profile pages. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to create this. The first thing I want to do is log in as a member of a website. And you'll see here we have all the different features available to him. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on Add Coupon. Every feature comes with its own form. This is the default form, and these are called field labels. So title is a field label, category is a field label. And essentially, you can add as many of these as you like, and you can remove whichever ones you want as well. So we're going to learn how to add a new field to the feature coupon for the example in this video. So we're going to go to the admin of my website, it will go to the membership features section. Here we can see which forms are used for each feature. So if we scroll down, we can identify that the coupon feature is using the coupons form. Knowing this, I can go to the forms manager and we're going to go ahead and search for coupons. These are all of the fields that we were looking at earlier, external web link, the promo code, and so forth. So we're going to learn how to add a new custom field. So we're going to click Add New Field here. We'll put number of people. And we'll add a variable name. Without a variable name, it is impossible to capture this information in the system. And we're going to select which type of field this is going to be. In this case, we'll do a text input field, which is the most common one that's used. The second most common is the text area field big box. That's if you need uh, for them to be able to write paragraph length text. Then on the right, we have different options available to you. Required is whether or not you're going to require them to submit this information to be able to submit the form. It'll put a little red asterisk. We can see here the title is required, but the category is not, for example. Whether or not you want it to display, of course we do. Whether or not you want a member to be able to input this information, yes, we do in this instance. And then we have these three options here, email, preview, and table. These are tied directly to the lead management system. We have video documentation on this. For this example, since it's not tied to the lead management system, we can ignore those three settings. We're going to go ahead and we're going to move this to where we want it to go. I'll, I'll nestle it under the categories and we'll save the form. Once it's added successfully, we can go to the profile page and refresh it. And then we'll see that we have the number of people field that has now been added. This was not there before. Now, when we submit this form, that information will correctly be saved in the database. It'll be located in the user's meta data table. But there's something that's important to note. And this goes, this is the same for your uh, member contact details form. Uh, when this is actually completed, it's not going to publish on the coupons page. So what I did is I went ahead and I pre-filled this form. You can see it here. We filled out all of the information, including the new custom field we've added, such as number of people. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to save this coupon. We'll now be able to view the preview of the coupon. But you may be asking yourself, where is this new field that I added? Why is it not showing on this page? Well, the reason why it's not showing is that this is a very specific design layout. It's impossible for the system to know exactly where you wanted this to be situated. Did you want it to show up below expired? Do you like this format? Did you want separate format? So there's no way for the software to know where to nestle this inside of the details page. Same thing goes with the overview tab for member profiles. So what you need to do is you need to go into the actual feature itself. We're going to go to the coupons feature and we're going to go to the details page layout. So I'm going to zoom in here so you can see a little bit easier the code. You're going to see that there's a lot of PHP and HTML coding here. Basically, it's calling the different variables and whether or not it needs to publish that variable. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to the forms manager you're going to need to select the proper form that you've edited. You're going to need to copy the exact variable that you created. In this case, it was 
numble underscore PEO, a little grammar mistake there, and you would need to call that variable here. If you need assistance with the coding in order to be able to call a custom field, this is certainly something our team can do. You can also submit it in the marketplace or you can ask for help in the community. If this was a member profile contact details field label that I added, for the members, the only difference is I wouldn't go to the member features and edit the listing feature because member profiles operate differently. What you'd want to do is you'd want to go to the widget library and you'd want to edit the member profile overview tab widget. This is the widget that controls the layout of member profiles on your website. So if we go and click on edit, you'll see this is all of the code that calls all of the different variables that are on the contact details form, the listing details form, and the about me. So if you've added a custom field in those forms, it's quite possible you just need to call it here. I hope you found this video helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you very much.